Each of the four Gospels offers us a different and unique perspective on Jesus' life and ministry. And we've seen the evidence of that over these last few weeks together in just the brief portions that we've taken of the birth stories that we've considered. Matthew's account through the lens of the experience, life and experience of Joseph. Luke's through the very different lens of the personal experience of Mary. Mark's beginning with the advent of John, his sudden appearance. It should not surprise us that God, in giving us his gospel, would communicate that gospel through a team of witnesses. Experiences shared are richer and fuller experiences, aren't they? I remember the first time that we uh, heard the American box soloist uh, do the Messiah. Just had stumbled upon the advertisement for that, didn't know who they were. And I said, Trish, I think we ought to go do that. And so we went to the downtown cathedral where they were doing it, and we sat up in the balcony, and I'll never forget the experience. My only regret is that there weren't others I knew with me. <laughs> so the next year I went back and took a crowd along. The joy of shared experiences. They're always richer and fuller because we get to experience not only our own, but the experience of others through their lens through their grid and experience. As the Swedes are fond of saying, joys shared are twice the joy. <laughs> they are richer. Well, we come to the fourth of that team of witnesses this morning, the Gospel of John. John 1 is to the Christmas story, I think, what the Hallelujah Chorus is to the Messiah. Uh, it's all uh, wonderful, but that is especially Wonderful, And all of these stories are unique and wonderful, but John 1 is unique. You know, tradition is when, the, when you get to the Hallelujah Chorus, everybody stands. There's apocryphal uh, tradition that the reason that they stand is that when King George II heard the Messiah for the first time, when it got to the Hallelujah Chorus, he stood, and because he was the king, everybody stood with him. Well, there's no truth to that story, it's just fiction. But it became tradition, and I'm sure it's out of the fact that people just couldn't stay seated when they got to that point. And John 1 is kind of like that. We would stand anyway for the reading of Scripture, but we will stand especially if you would turn to John chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. And I will be reading out of the New International Version. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, and without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from John, sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of a human decision, or of a human's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testified concerning him. He cried out, saying, This is the one I spoke about when I said, He who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. Out of his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace already given. 
For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but the one and only Son, who is himself God, and is in the closest relationship with the Father, has made him known. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. You may be seated.